welcome back to my channel. Long time no see. I know it's been quite a while, but December has been so hectic and so stressful and so busy. I've been out of town twice, one week in New York and then one week on a cruise to Mexico. So I decided not to vlog and work in between was just hellish. So now I'm back, it's the day after Christmas and I haven't vlogged almost all year, but I'm going to include a few um, reviews in this video. I'm gonna show you one thing that I got from a Secret Santa that I'm gonna do today. And it's this Dr. Teal's Relax Bath Set. You guys, I got a massage on the cruise and the lady literally told me you should take baths and relax because you're too stressed so i'm trying to take her advice and i just so happened to have gotten this dr teal set so we're gonna use it today and it comes with epsom salt but i already have some of this i just never use it um, so I have some of this. I don't need to open that, but I am going to use this foaming bath and, um, they have some soaps. So yeah, let me take this out and put it in my bath water. They say a generous amount, so I don't know how much that is. So these are eucalyptus bath bombs. And I'm gonna add this as well to my bath water. And the reason why I don't bathe that often is I just feel like it's a lot of work, but I need to take better care of myself um, and relax more. And I'm not waiting for 2020, I'm gonna start now. So it's exactly noon and I'm going to the dentist. I have a 1.30 appointment. So I have an hour and a half to take a bath and get dressed and go to the dentist, which is my dentist is maybe 10 minutes away from my house. I am going to get Invisalign. And so people always say I have a nice smile but there are a few things going on here and I probably should have gotten braces a while ago. The reason why I chose Invisalign is because I already look very young and I did not want that, um, like the scratching of the inner gums and I wanted something that was pretty seamless. So I'm getting Invisalign. This is the consultation appointment and I always had buck teeth and then the spacing is off with these teeth and I can't get implants or anything because the spacing is just so bad and I need to fix the spacing before I can fix the shape of the teeth. Also my teeth are so big here it's like scratching the enamel off the bottom teeth. The bottom teeth are not perfectly straight either. They don't really bother me. But also, I grind my teeth at night and I needed another night guard. And the last night guard that I got made specifically for my teeth, it cost like $400. And so I could spend another $400 on another night guard because my teeth have shifted and my night guard just is so uncomfortable. So I could spend $400 on that, or I could just take that $400 and put it towards Invisalign, which I would wear in my sleep anyway, and act as a night guard. So all in all, my braces are gonna cost $3,000, which I budgeted, let me go see how much water is in this tub, which I budgeted this year. It was part of my no buy that I needed to make sure, Whew, lots of water. Okay. Yeah, that's a lot of water. 
But I needed to make sure that I budgeted $3,000 for braces. And I did. I saved way more than $3,000 this year. So I'm going to take the money out of my emergency fund and I'm able to pay cash for the braces, which they gave me an additional like 5% discount for um, paying all at once. So that's what I'm going to do. What else is going on? I'll just tell you later. Let me get in the bathtub. So it's 12.34. I just got out of the shower, out of the bath. I do feel utterly relaxed. I feel calm. Exactly how you need to when you're going to the dentist to talk about repositioning your teeth <laughs> so um i will do that again i do feel like i'm almost too relaxed and i should do this at night time just a thought i want to give you a review of a facial wash now since i took a bath of course i'm not going to wash my face in the bathtub but you all saw me purchase this from tj maxx it's the peter thomas roth irish more mud cleansing gel and this is probably one of the best all-purpose facial washes that I've probably ever purchased. I do feel like it helps to keep my skin clear. Um, it does have some salicylic acid in it. The main activating ingredient is charcoal, um, but it also has um, alpha hydroxy acid in it. It has lactic acid, salicylic acid, which will exfoliate the skin. Um, it has tea tree oil, which will clarify um, and re reduce excess oil. It has willow bark that tones the skin, help tighten the look of pores. And overall, it says it will refine skin texture, minimize the look of pores, fine lines, and deep wrinkle, and leave a clean, pure, fresh feeling. I really like this. I think Peter Thomas Ross decontinued de this, discontinued this um, at Sephora, but if you can catch it on their site or on, in TJ Maxx, I highly recommend it. So I just wanted to give you a quick review of this facial wash, and this is what I'm going to use right now. And I basically just use this amount. So I feel like this eight and a half ounce bottle is going to last me um, through 2020. So I probably won't have to um, purchase a facial wash for a while. And while we're on the subject, let's talk about if I'm continuing my no buy. I am continuing my no buy for the most part. I will say I'm stopping my no buy for shoes and handbags. <laughs> I'm stopping my no buy for shoes and handbags because so many pairs of shoes, if you follow me on Instagram, you would know so many pairs of shoes broke, went to shoe heaven. Um, I need so many pairs of shoes to be um, resold and all of this. And so I have a little wish list of shoes. So I will share that with you in a separate video. For handbags, there are two types of handbags I really think I need to add to my collection. So I'll talk about that in another video. But for the other items, I'm going to continue on with the, if it ain't broke, don't just add a whole bunch of extra stuff. Let's not increase consumerism. I'm still probably even more motivated after how well this year's no buy went to continue my no buy and saving money. So I will share with you all in a separate video what my 2020 um, annual budget looks like and how I'm going to get them coins up. But yeah, so um, home goods, there are some things for the home that I'm going to break the no buy and buy. And it's really just for organization. It's nothing decor wise that I actually need. I did realize while I was on the no buy that I have the same sheets and pillowcases from like 10 years ago. I've just been washing them and dry cleaning them and 
getting them laundered and they have lasted a very long time, but they also don't even look the same color as when I purchased them. I am going to um, go and replace that. Another product I wanna review in this video is the Peter Thomas Roth AHA BHA Acne Clearing Gel. I told you that I purchased this because I was using a clean beauty um, salicylic acid. It's like natural salicylic acid product by Caudalie. It was very expensive. And on my no buy, I was really trying to find cheaper alternatives to things that I was already using. I just felt like I was spending too much damn money on skincare and my skin wasn't even in that bad of a condition. So I picked this up from TJ Maxx, showed you in a previous video. I basically used like two pumps and I put it around my face. like this and I do feel like it helps to keep my skin clear as well as if I get bumps like I got some bumps from the cruise I just came back from a cruise and I got some bumps on the cruise probably from sleeping on their um, pillowcases and I've been using this and it really does help clear the skin so I think these two work really well together just saying. Um, and so I've been using that and I really, really do like it. Um, and then after that, it my skin feels very clean, but almost dry. So I'm going to hurry up and go in with my vitamin C, which I also picked up from TJ Maxx. And it is the Corez Wild Rose Sauvage, Rose Sauvage. I have used this in the past and I do like this vitamin C. It comes in a dropper like this. I use basically like three pumps and then I just put this into my skin like this. And I also put it on my neck. I actually really do like this. I like that it's in an oil formula. Um, yeah. So these are three items that I wanted to give you product reviews on because I hauled them from TJ Maxx and I just wanted to show you that no, I wasn't really cheating on my no buy with these things, but I really did need a all purpose, another all purpose um, cleanser. The only other cleanser that I had was, I'll show you. This one by Purity, and I just use this to remove makeup. That's the only time I use this, and I've been using it so long. Um, I am down to here now, luckily, um, but it lasts a very long time, but it is an effective uh, makeup remover. So now I'm going to use my... Favorite moisturizer of all time, probably. And put this on. And get dressed. And go see the dentist. Hi guys, so it is 7.40 p.m. back home. So let me tell you about my dental treatment, why I'm getting Invisalign. I actually went in and had the scans done today. As I mentioned, I was going to pay. But before I did any of that, I asked the one question that I wanted the answer to, which was, did I absolutely need to get braces or Invisalign? for the corrections that I desired. And I asked that to the assistant and then she said, oh, well, you know, I'll bring the doctor in. And I asked the doctor, you know, at the end of the day, I'm gonna need to get some veneers. Can I just get the veneers? Or do I need to have the Invisalign? And he was like, no, based on what you want, you know, you have some spaces that are too big or, you know, the teeth at the bottom still are kind of overlapping. It looks like they will continue to do so if you don't correct it, blah, blah, blah. I felt better about that because before I pay $3,000 for anything, I want to make 
damn sure that it is exactly what I need and what I want. Don't try to take me fast. So this is my statement here. Um, today I paid $3,134.05. So as I mentioned, I had saved up for this all year. It was part of my no buy. It was one of those goals at the end. Have $3,000 saved for Invisalign. And I did it. And so this I only had to pay that amount because Invisalign was giving a $1,000 promo. So um, I took advantage of that. I also paid the full amount today in cash. So I got a 5% off uh, courtesy fee. So that was $164.95. So you can see these are the actual totals of what I'm paying. My insurance will pay $1,500 which is why at the end it says, please pay $1,500. That's not me, that's insurance. One thing to remember when you're getting Invisalign is that you need to keep the same insurance because if you switch insurance or let's say you get rid of orthodontic care and you change jobs and you don't have orthodontic care, then they can actually stop paying. So you have to make sure that you're very certain that you're going to get some type of ortho um, treatment or, you know, coverage in your insurance if you're planning to switch jobs. That's important because Invisalign is paid in installments, like monthly, from your insurance. It's not paid all at once like I paid today. So anyway, I am going to do that. This, this has been 15 years in the making. Back in 2005, I got my wisdom teeth pulled. And my teeth at the bottom, I'll show you, they were mumble jumbled. Like they were like crossing each other and they're still not straight and they're definitely not even, but they look so much better than they used to look. And at the time I was saying, you know, I want to get braces. And my dentist at the time said, well, before you do that and you're early in your 20s, you should actually just go ahead and get your wisdom teeth removed. And I was like, well, how many? And she said all four of them. And so I thought, you know, I would never come back and do this again. So just remove all four of my wisdom teeth at one time. And that's what I did. It was like, you know, it wasn't a big deal to me. And then we were to wait a while to see what the movement in the bottom of my teeth would look like. So I ended up stopped going to that dentist, went to another dentist. I didn't like them. And it has been 15 years since I got my wisdom teeth pulled almost 15 years, I should say, 15 years. Um, and I'm now at the point where I'm going to get the braces. And I think I should have done this probably back in 2007 if I got all my wisdom teeth pulled in 2005. But in 2007, I was trying to study for the GMAT to get into business school. I went to business school 08 through 2010. We were in a recession. People were getting laid off. I wasn't trying to come off that much money. Fast forward now, I have done a no buy. I feel very disciplined in my spending. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and pay to get the teeth that I want. Anyway, after that, I went to Marshall's. I went to TJ Maxx. I went to TJ Maxx first. And what I was looking for were some things to keep my produce fresh. I do not have anything other than like, like um, glass Pyrex containers, but I need something to keep produce fresh because I'm gonna try to have a more plant-based diet. And I absolutely hate that my produce goes bad, even when I'm trying to use it like day after day, like avocados and stuff. So I will show you what I picked up from TJ Maxx. 
first, my total from TJ Maxx was $40. And I only picked up bubble bath. Since I'm trying to do this relaxation thing, I'm going to take it seriously, you guys. I picked up this Dr. Bronner's Pure Castle Soap. So this will be my bubble bath. I picked that up. It was $10 for like 32 ounces, basically, which I thought was a really good price. And then I also picked up this food storage container for tiny things. And I normally, I don't have a container for small things like this. So I picked this up and it was $2.49. And lastly, I picked up some facial masks. Now, technically this was a no buy cheat and I'm just being honest. Because I have a face mask here. I just pulled it out the fridge. So I have this face mask. And for Christmas, the same person who bought me the Dr. Teal's um, kit also got me like a foot mask and then a face mask. So I have one from them as well. So if I do one per week, that's two weeks. So I'm not going to open this box until after the new year. But I was not going to let it go away. And this is an Eve Lom brightening mask. These are brightening sheet masks there are four in here and i spent twenty dollars this four kit cost fifty five dollars i was not leaving it i don't care i don't care i don't care i'm not gonna use them this year but i don't care i my whole skincare regimen is around brightening and I wasn't going to leave that behind. So, yeah, that's how I spent $40 um, in TJ Maxx. And then, what else did I get? Oh, I went to Marshall's. And I'll show you the things that I picked up from Marshall's. I picked up some facial cottons. I have absolutely not one. I'm totally ran out. And I picked up some by Shiseido. They were actually in Marshall's. And everyone raves about these Shiseido facial cottons. They say they are the most luxurious, softest things that you can put on your skin. And so, um, I got that. Uh, oh, I also picked up this from TJ Maxx, an onion keeper. I actually needed this, like, really, really badly because I cut an onion earlier. And I was like, I don't have a bowl that even fits this, so... I needed that. So then at Marshall's, I actually got an avocado storage pod. I actually Googled in the store what was the best thing to keep avocados when it's half cut. And it said this. And it was actually in Marshall's and online. It said $7.99. And in Marshall's, it was $2.99. And then they actually had this avocado pod here. So... Keeping produce fresh. This lemon keeper, $2.99. Um, I travel a lot, and a lot of times I don't want to take like razor and shave cream and stuff. And I saw this for $3.99 and said, This is what I need for the traveler in me, you guys. I think I have to go to California probably twice in January when I get back to work. I go back to work on the 6th. So after the 6th, I will be traveling to California probably twice in those three weeks. I'm taking these. And then for my bath, I want to, I never had enough storage space to get all of my shampoo and conditioner off the side of the tub. If I'm gonna be taking baths, I don't want stuff on the side of the tub, I just want it in its own storage container. So I picked up another caddy. It's like a super suction caddy. These are the only ones that I buy. And then I bought a reed diffuser to make the bathroom smell nice. And that's all I got. And that total was $33.93. I will 
put my little bathroom together. I'll probably show you guys tomorrow. And tomorrow I'm going to get my hair colored. So I'm going to continue with showing you guys how I'm prepping for the new year, but I'm getting my roots and redone. And I actually want a different like color effect. The blonde was nice for this in part of the year but i'm gonna switch it up a little differently so you will see that on tomorrow i have my hair color appointment at nine in the morning so i'm gonna try to edit this vlog for today it might be like a totally raggedy ass vlog because i'm not used to vlogging but such is life and I am totally giving up trying to be perfect at everything. I'm just going to recognize, like, I try my best. So, with that being said, be blessed to be a blessing. Girl Boss Beauties. Bye.